Hello, my name is Jinny Kim, and I'll be telling you about one of Korea's national treasure, Gunjongjeon. Gunjongjeon is the 223rd national treasure of Korea. It is the main building of Gyeongbok Palace. The king went here every morning to pay respects to his officials. And besides the coronation ceremony, all the big events were held here. Although it looks like a two story building, it is a building with a high ceiling with a royal throne inside. Iral Obongbyeong was a painting that should always be placed behind the throne, with a picture of the sun and moon, five peaks, pine, and water. The sun represents the king, the moon represents the queen, the five peaks represent the land of Joseon, the pine trees for officials, and water for the people. Looking at the ceiling, the golden dragon was carved, which was an imaginary creature that represented the king. One can see that the dragon has seven claws. Which shows Joseon's will to escape from China's power. Joseon had a flunky relationship with China at the time, but had to continue it sending envoys and presents. In the Chinese castle, most dragon had five claws, so even though it was just claws for the dragon sculpture, the Joseon people wanted to be ahead of China. A large yard in front of Gunjongjeon is known to be uneven, which is called Paksok. The reason for this was to eliminate the sunlight reflected during the morning inquiry that could easily damage the eyes of officials. Another reason was to prevent people who wore leather shoes from slippery. It also had a gap so that water could easily be sent out from the palace when it rained. The little stones on both sides were written to make it easier for the officials to find their place at morning courts. The military officials stood on the left and the civil minister stood on the right. The higher the official in charge, the closer he was to the king. And when the sun was hot or it was raining, highly ranked officials could escape the sun or rain under the tent which was only allowed for them. There was also Tapdo and various animal figures on the way to Gunjongjeon. Tapdo is a place where the king's kiln passes by sculpted with phoenixes. The phoenix is also an imaginary animal that represents the king. According to the Joseon's ideology, there are 10 animal figures excluding the dogs and pigs in the zodiac signs for the secretness of the royal family. There are also imaginary animal figures called the four direction gods placed in each direction. The red phoenix in the south, the blue dragon in the east, the white tiger in the west, and the black tortoise in the north.